Apex Legends is definitely one of the battle royales that's easier to pull wins from, but since this game has been out for nearly a month, players are getting better and better. If you want to secure that first win but don't know how, or you just want to be way better at the game, I've got 5 secrets to win each and every time. My name is Nate, and this is Battle Royale Guides. Before we get started, be sure to get subscribed and to follow the link in the description down below to get entered to our huge Apex coin giveaway. Also, this list is in no particular order, and obviously you're not going to win each and every game. I mean, the pros don't either, but this will definitely increase your ability to win games way, way, way faster. Coming in at number 5, be patient. You do not have to force a fight. If you're in a bad position and the enemy team does not see you, make an effort to reposition and get into a better place to take the fight. Rotate around and get high ground before they notice you and then engage. Taking a fight the second that you see a team not only alerts them of your position but every other squad nearby, so if you're already in a bad place, it will just get worse once you have other squads rolling up on you afterwards. Be patient, try to take high ground, and then engage. After that, at number 4, just use your abilities. When you get into fights, a lot of people just get lost in the moment and forget to use their abilities. Use them. I can't stress this enough. You can totally change a fight with these abilities and it makes things easier on you and your team. Like, let me give you an example. If you're playing Bangalore and your teammate pops his Bloodhound ult but you forget to use your smokes, you're just making the fight harder for your team. Whereas if you were to smoke the enemy and yourself, you make it way harder for the enemy to hit you and easier for your team's Bloodhound to take advantage of his ult and wipe the enemy while they're blinded by the smoke nades. It's simple in practice, but my randoms and squads never really seem to use those abilities as much as they probably could. Coming in at number 3, do not loot for too long. This goes for all stages of the game. From beginning to end, if you spend too much time looting and not paying attention to what's going on around you, you could end up putting yourself in a situation where you're surrounded by squads and you haven't even noticed them. If you're in the top 5 and just wiped a squad and you sit on their bodies for too long looting, you're just going to give every squad that heard that fight going on a chance to get closer and kill you while you're only paying attention to the loot. Keep in mind to what you need, scroll through the loot quickly, and move on. I know when I think about what I'm looking for, whether whether it be specific attachments, better armor, or a specific gun and ammo or heals, and just pick up exactly what I thought I needed and not worry just too much about getting that perfect loadout. You don't really need the perfect ideal loadout, you just need what you can to get kills. After that, at number 2, an important one, don't force a 1v1. In battle royales, you always want to have the advantage in the fight. An unfair fight in your favor is always ideal. If you see someone alone far away from their squad, call him out and give your team a moment to get into a position to help you. Don't just rush them immediately. A 1v1 is basically just a 50-50 chance of you winning or losing. And if you're playing to win, it's always better to have a numbers advantage. Simple, but super, super important. And last but not least, at number one, the best tip in my opinion, just play the zone to your advantage. You basically always want to be in a spot where the enemy is forced to come to you, usually because of the storm or them leaving to get ahead of the storm. Especially in the final zone, you don't want to be the team forced to move to another cover to get into the safe zone if you can help it. Try to predict the safe zones, and if you have a pathfinder on your team, have him use his passive to show where it will be next and plan your next move accordingly. You can pull up that map and take a moment to plan your route. Not only do you decide where you get to take the fight from, but you also do have a really good idea of where the enemy will be coming from, which means that you can plan out the nades where you're going to be shooting and where you'll hide, whereas if you're that team getting pushed by the storm, you're just going to be at the mercy of the team that decides to mow you down when you least expect it. But anyway, that's been today's video. Be sure to drop a like and to join our giveaway down below. We've got a Twitter and Instagram link down below, which you should definitely follow for Apex news and memes. But anyway, my name has been Nate, and this has been Battle Royale Guides.